Hello, this is Ronnie Odom with Navigate Housing. Thank you for joining us for Wednesday's Wisdom. Today we're going to be talking about the elderly or disabled family deduction. Now this deduction is a one-time deduction of $400 and it's based on the circumstances of the head of household, the co-head, or the spouse, or sole member if it's a family with only one member. In order to be qualified as an elderly family, one of those persons has to be 62 or older. And in order to be considered a disabled family, one of those persons has to be handicapped or disabled by HUD's definition. And you want to check your admin plan to make sure that you are including the full HUD definition. And also check your verification forms to make sure that that definition is on your verification forms. Remember, if that person gets SSI or SSD, you don't have to verify the disability that that is verification within itself. So again, based on the head, co-head, the spouse, or the sole member's status, the family will be determined as elderly or disabled. And there's only one $400 deduction regardless of how many elderly people are in the family or how many disabled people are in the family. Now, I want to use this example and join along with me. Yes or no? Does this family qualify for elderly or disabled deduction? We have Olivia Pope, who's the head of household. She's not disabled, and she's 40 years old. We have her husband, Fitzgerald Grant, who is 50 years old. He is not disabled. And we have Eli Pope, who is her father. He's disabled, and he's 71 years old. So the answer is going to be no, because we're only interested in the status of the head or the spouse in order to determine what the status of this family is going to be. So again, this answer is no. Here's the second example. Olivia Pope is the head of household. She is not disabled and she's 40. Her husband, Fitz, is also not disabled, and he's 50. But they have a son, Huck, who is disabled, and he's 17. Would this family qualify as an elderly or disabled family? Again, this answer is no, because of the status of the head or the spouse. They're neither disabled or elderly. And the final example, Olivia Pope is not disabled and she's 40 years old. Her husband Fitz is 63 and he's not disabled. And they have a son, Huck, who's 17 and he is disabled. In this case, yes, the family qualifies as elderly, as an elderly family because the spouse is 62 or older. Thank you so much for joining us today. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments. Have a great day.